Well, if you have ever wanted to get a job doing something completely different, well, this next career may be just for you. Eight on your side's Rod Carter is here now with another installment of Let Rod Do It. Uh, yeah. So, or maybe not. Or let, <laughs> really. No. So, what what is this job you have today? Uh, let's We're just having say, a little fun. Let, but let's just say this job is one that you're glad we don't have smell o vision for. So, I have a warning for you. If you're eating dinner, put it down. Just give me a couple minutes and you can go back to it. <laughs> we took a trek over to Tampa Wastewater Treatment Facility to do the dirty job of cleaning out the screens that filter out all of the things that you flush that perhaps you shouldn't. All right, you ever worn a harness before? No. Okay. It keeps it tight across your chest. Okay. It actually well, fits pretty good. So hydrogen sulfide is the, the rotten egg smell. When your alarm starts going off, you want to, you want to stop yeah. and come out. I think we suited up for war. Today, I'm working in the city of Tampa's wastewater treatment department. I'm at one of the largest pump stations in the city, working alongside 30-year vet Gary Anderson. The majority of the uh, days, we normally get about three to four cans. Three to four cans of this, all of the things you flush down the toilet that you shouldn't. They're called bar screens. And that stuff gets filtered by these bar screens. It has to be fished out. One of the biggest culprits, flushable wipes. Yeah, they're not flushable. Getting these screens clean, though. It's not as easy as it no, seems. Grabbing long rakes and plunging them down into that water. It takes a bit of muscle. Pull it up. Like so. See, see how you got a good yeah. up to it? Yeah, uh-huh. Just pull it up easy. And then once you get there, you're going to flip that wrist. OK. And all of the muck trapped in the screens is then dumped into these cans to be hauled off to the landfill. Uh, a wastewater system often gets treated like a garbage can. People put stuff in it that they shouldn't, like diapers, um, food wraps. There are 225 pump stations in Tampa. Seven of them are large ones like this one. OK, so for the people who actually know what they're doing, it takes them about an hour a day to do this. And the worst day, they tell me, is on Monday. And it takes them a couple of hours to just clean out all of these, uh, all of these drains. Once the water is free of the garbage, it flows to the wastewater treatment facility at Tampa's port to be processed. Yeah, if that's not screened out, the wastewater can't come into the station to be pumped into an overflow in the Hillsborough River. To give you an idea of just how much volume we're talking about, in the city of Tampa alone, on average, every single day, they process about 60 million gallons of wastewater. A third of that from right here at the station where I worked. Work that not only protects you, but the environment too. And people like Geary endure the nastiest, filthiest, yuckiest, smelliest parts of the job to get it done. Do you ever get used to the smell? No. <laughs> you not get used to the smell. Yeah. You just deal with it and then you go home. Yes. <laughs> I bet your face at home is like every face in this room. We're all scrunched up. <laughs> so, <laughs> what does this smell like? Everything you're imagining. <laughs> By the way, the beginning salary for this job is about $41,000. Odd side note, Keith, when I was 15 years old, my very first job ever getting a paycheck, going to the bank, cashing it, was a summer program at the wastewater treatment facility. So I guess and decades ago, I had my preparation for this little story. You had to get used to it, but you didn't have a Ghostbuster suit like you did for this shoot no, here, did no, you? No, I did not. I'm, I'm impressed you went and did this. Yeah, it was uh, interesting. What's the most memorable part of it, though? What would you take away from yeah, this? the smell. <laughs> Something was, more than the smell? It was it? not... Pleasant. Well, we know that. Yeah, that's yeah. all I can tell you. You don't want to go back? No, but, I'm good. But it's a Thanks. good career, and, and you know, it is. to all those people doing that work, we applaud and that's you. That's why we do this job. That's why we do the story, to show you. those jobs. Let Rod